Suleiman Kisoko versus Roberto Venezuela Jr. Who do y'all think is gonna win this fight? Before I get more into the video, I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more boxing and please hit that like button. It helps out the video, it helps out the channel. I'd really appreciate it. So, to those who don't know, this fight between Kisoko and Venezuela is scheduled for 10 rounds in the junior middleweight division to take place this coming weekend on the 5th of March, March 5, 2022, live over at the Pachenga Arena in San Diego, California, USA, to be shown live around the world on The Zone. Uh, this fight will be taking place in the undercard of the uh, fight between Roman Chocolatito Gonzalez versus Julio Cesar Martinez fight. You don't want to miss this event. So tune into the zone this coming March 5. So before I talk about who I think will win between Kisoko and Venezuela, to those who don't know, uh, Suleiman Kisoko is a 30-year-old fighter from France. Uh, currently undefeated, 14-0, 9 wins coming by way of Nakar TKO. This will be his 15th professional fight. Um, he's coming off a, a TKO win against Ismail Ilyev back in September of last year. And uh, here he is fighting for the first time this year. He is actually in the top 15. To those who don't know, he is uh, highly ranked. Um, if we look at the rankings, uh, he is currently ranked number 15 by the WBC. And he's ranked number 12 by the WBA. So he's up there in the rankings by two sanctioning bodies. And uh, here he is. In, in my opinion, a stay busy fight against Roberto Venezuela Jr., a 22-year-old fighter from Mexico with a record of 19 wins, 2 losses, 19 wins coming by way of knockout TKO. 2 losses came from uh, Alexis Rocha back in 2019 and uh, Derek Silveria back in uh, 2019 as well. And um, you know, since then, he's won multiple fights over in Mexico by TKO and knockout. I can see how he's won. Uh, he seems like... Uh, you know, he picks his shots pretty well, very selective with his shots, but um, but yeah, the level of opposition he's fought hasn't been that best, uh, and he's going in there against a fighter who has a very good amateur background. I believe a medalist in the, the Olympics, correct? If I remember correctly, I think he was like a silver medalist. Let me double check real quick. He was a bronze medalist in the 2016 Olympic Games, and you know, he has a very good amateur background. Uh, in the end, I think Kisoko should be able to go out there and uh, stop Venezuela. Uh, Venezuela is young. He he will continue to improve as a fighter. Um, but I think he, he will be too green for Kisoko. I know Venezuela has more professional fights. But like I said, the level of opposition he's fought throughout his career hasn't been all that great. Or I should say the level of opposition that he has defeated hasn't been all that great. Um... And I think uh, Kisoko will go out there and show uh, why there are levels in the sport of boxing uh, and why he is a top contender and why uh, Venezuela is not there just yet. So I'll say Kisoko, TKO, round number. I'll say I think he'll, he'll break him apart and uh, I think he'll stop him in the later rounds. I say in the second half. So I say TKO round number seven, seven or eight. But we'll see. We will see. I could be wrong. I've been wrong many times before. Anything is possible in the sport of boxing. Honestly, just looking forward to a great weekend of boxing with this fight between Kisoka and Venezuela. And obviously the main event between Chocolatito and Martinez. So, tune into the zone. Again, I'm picking Kisoko to win by TKO. And uh, now round 7 or 8. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And like always, have a great day. Alright, thanks.